For four months, from September the 19th, 1870, to January the 28th, 1871, the Prussian army laid siege to the city of Paris as part of the Franco-Prussian War. Prior to having all supply lines cut off, the French Ministry of Agriculture furiously worked to gather as much food and as much fuel as it could. And at the beginning, livestock blanketed the Bois de Boulogne Park on the edge of Paris. Apparently insufficient, within less than a month, the Parisians began butchering the horses, with meat used, as you would expect, and even the blood collected for the purposes of making puddings. Within another month, by November the 12th, 1870, butchered dogs and cats began to appear for sale at the market alongside trays full of dead rats and pigeons. The former pets sold for between 20 and 40 cents per pound, while a nice fat rat could go for 50. As Christmas approached, much of Paris's restaurants and cafes were forced to close, although a few of its top eateries continued serving, albeit with a markedly different menu. And as traditional meats were becoming increasingly scarce, the formerly impossible became the actual. When M. de Boo of the Boucherie Anglais, English butcher, purchased a pair of zoo elephants named Castor and Pollux for 27,000 francs. The enormous animals were killed with explosive steel-tipped bullets fired at close range. They were then chopped up and sold, with the trunks being the most desirable part, selling for 40 to 45 francs per pound, and other parts between 10 and 14. Prized by fine dining establishments for its Christmas feet, the Voisin served elephant soup, and for New Year's Day, Peter's restaurant offered filet d'elephant sauce marière. The elephants weren't the only zoo animals featured on these menus, as the Voisin also served kangaroo and antelope, while Peter's also served peacock. In addition, rats, mules, donkeys, dogs, and cats were also transformed by their chefs into roasts, chops, cutlets, and ragouts. Ultimately, most of the animals in the zoo were eaten with the voracious Parisians, sparing only the monkeys, lions, tigers, and hippos. It is thought that the monkeys were left because of their close resemblance to humans, but it isn't clear why the lions, tigers, and hippos escaped the menu. In any event, the siege was ended by a 23-night bombardment campaign in January, in which the Prussians lobbed 12,000 shells into the city, killing and wounding around 4,000 hundred people. The Franco-Prussian War officially ended with the Treaty of Frankfurt on May the 10th, 1871. So I'm not going to ask if you enjoyed the video, given it's a rather dark nature, but if you did find it interesting, why not check out another video we've done? It's called Why Do Some Countries Refrigerate Their Eggs and Others Don't? It's a interesting watch. Also, do subscribe to this channel for brand new content just like this video and that video every day of the week. And if you're looking for something else, why not listen to our podcast? It's called Brain Food. We do topics like this. It's more of a casual back and forth with me and Dave and chatting about all sorts of different things. Check that out by searching Brain Food in, well, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And as always, thank you for watching.